Yes. Hello. Can everyone hear me? This is the first time that I've ever done any kind of live stream. So before before we get really started, my name is Pete and I am the animator, creator and director for Dan of the Dead. And um, well, hello and welcome. First of all, can you hear me? Is it actually working? Anyone? I'm not really sure which way this chat works, but hopefully we'll get sorted. Are we working? Right, okay, so. Dan of the Dead, absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of support that I've received recently for it. It's been absolutely incredible. I made the film about four or five years ago, and it was originally um, done as a pilot episode for something that we had bigger. We wanted to make a massive, massive film of it, and realised that we had no budget, so we thought, right, let's just make a little tiny pilot and see what happens and this is basically what what we did we we worked out our sequence that we wanted to do which was a toilet sequence and we then decided we could make that into an actual film um, which ran for around five minutes long something like that we actually have two videos, which is very, very true, and a few people have actually mentioned this. We do have two videos up online. We have the one that you've all recently watched, which has been absolutely incredible, um, and we, which is that it's a director's cut. And when I say director's cut, it basically we um, we took out one of the beginning sequences, which was the Simon Zanzibar newsreader scene. And we took that out because we wanted to get straight into the actual zombie and, and Dan and see, see what went on with them, rather than this boring uh, newsreader speaking. So we took it out and we went straight into the action in the toilet sequence. And I think that's why everything seems to be going so well with it, because everyone's like, yes, this is, this is great. Um, and uh, and it kind of took off from from people watching that. So um, if you haven't seen the other video, I'll put it in the description below at a later date. Um, I'm just going to have a drink. I have no idea whether this is working. I can't actually work out this chat, so please bear with me. It's my first time that I've ever done this kind of thing. Um, and I'm unsure what's going on. So uh, let's see whether I can find out 
how it's working. There's a few people. Blenderhead, hello. Lucas Henrique, hello. Uh, Morgan Vlogs, I'm afraid I don't know... I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions? Has anyone actually watched um, watched it and wants to ask any questions on the actual film itself? Oi, oi. I'm just going into a different right okay so uh, let's talk a bit about you guys who have just recently subscribed which is absolutely incredible uh, I am absolutely blown away by the amount of support that I've received since doing this video um, and recently it's obviously taken off and I think it's because YouTube have, have recommended it out to people which is absolutely amazing and uh, I just can't wait to, to show you some more of what I've already done um, my intentions are to create a full-on web series for Dan of the Dead and this web series will run um, for as long as people are watching it so we're going to do very small five minute episodes and you're going to learn a lot more about Dan of the Dead and the whole backstory of why he's drinking his whiskey why he's drunk all the time why he has a dildo in his bag which I know is something that you're all probably wanting to know and more importantly how the zombie apocalypse takes place whilst he's in a toilet and there is so much that I that we're going to tell uh, in the production team have got some great ideas and it's going to be so fun and we really can't wait to to get started on it so we've got that as a web series that we're going to be doing we're also going to be doing some little mini uh, skits as well which will be Dan's zombie apocalypse survivals and it's going to be him talking about um, some of his survival techniques within Dan of the Dead and what he would do um, if a zombie apocalypse would happen, what his choice of weapons would be, um, you know, how he would survive. And it's going to be a really cool thing and we can't wait to see it. Okay, Blenderhead, in the making the puppet videos, you make a head from Super Sculpey, then made a cast from it to mould a head from cast resin, J cast resin. What's the advantage in doing this over just having a baked Super Sculpey? Right, okay, blender head. Thank you for that question, and this is a great question, and I'll tell you exactly why. The reason we do this um, is if you're working on a production and you're right in the middle of a shot and you're popping your head on and you're doing your animation and stuff taking the head off for whatever reason sometimes people like to take the heads off so that they can get a bit more intricate with uh, their eyes and where they want to move the pupils or the mouthpieces um, so they take it off but what can happen when they take it off is they could drop it on the floor and then stand on it and break the head now if you haven't got a mould of that head you have to start again and you've got to try and mould the head exactly the same way as the original. So we do the sculpts and we do the moulds so that we have replicas. Um, we can then pop out a couple more in Jcash resin and then you, you have um, more than one. We could make up three or four heads if we wanted to. We break one or an ear snaps off. We've got another one straight away. It also... Surprisingly enough, the Jcast resin is actually a lot lighter than Super Sculpey, which we're always trying to get these puppets as light as possible so we can animate them better. So that is one of the reasons why we do it um, in Jcast resin. I have actually got my mini me right here for you to see. And yes, his head, as, as I've already said, and as you um, have seen, is made out of... Jcast resin and that is exactly why we do what we do with him 
So I hope that's answered your question. Hope that makes sense. <clears throat> Anybody else got any questions that they would like to answer on this Q&A session? It's the first one that I've done. I have no idea whether it was going to work or not. And I'm unsure as to whether it has already. Um, I know you're all very excited by Dan of the Dead and I hope you've all enjoyed the film and if there's any questions that you'd like to ask then please do ask but what I will do in a minute is I'll actually show the video through and I'll talk to you about how we came across some of the challenges that were caused by making the film and give you a bit of an insight into how um, we animated some of these sequences and I'll play it through a few times and whilst I'm doing that I'll talk through Anything that um, that is of interest to anyone. <clears throat> Something else as well. I've actually brought along quite a few props from the film itself. So here you can see... Um, the zombie head that we that was sculpted by our good creator Daz Longthorn, one of the uh, guys that was working on the project with us, and we'll be working on the next one as well. This is um, our main zombie head. This obviously has got no jaw because it was pulled off by Dan in that amazing sequence right at the very end, but. I don't know if anyone was aware of the head actually squashing and turning into pulp at the end. Now that was done by making a cast of this head right here. And then we actually made a gelatin version of the zombie head, which you can probably see right here. Now this gelatin zombie head was then able to be broken up completely and mashed up to make the zombie head look like it had exploded. It was a really cool sequence to do and I think it came out quite well actually so I hope you enjoyed seeing that little bit where it got smashed up. Quite fun. Quite fun. Um, I've also got in here the, the cup that was seen in the opening sequence on the floor McChums. Thank you very much, Dispacio. Dispasti. I can't say your name, I'm really sorry. Louis, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you've liked it and subbed it. Cheers. Um, it's quite cool. Um, and here is the burger. Yeah. The burger itself, which was quite a fun thing. I hope you can see this. Hopefully. So this was made out of Super Sculpey. Now I didn't actually make um, resin copies of this. It didn't need to be. It was just the one thing. It was absolutely fine for us to use. Nice stream. Thank you. I hope it is okay. I have no idea whether it's working or not, to be honest. Um, it's something different that I'm trying out, like I've said before. And uh, I hope it works. I hope I can get more people to watch. Um, this is just a trial. Is to see what it's to see what happens, really. I've got no idea what, what's going on with it. Um, and here we have, oh yes, Dan's shotgun. His double-barreled shotgun which was used in the film. This was sculpted it. Hello, Flex Lollipop. What a fantastic name. Um, I have no idea why you would be a flexed lollipop, but hey, thank you for joining us. Um, this is the shotgun that was used in the film. I hope you like it. This was used by Dan himself. Yes, please do. Get as many people as you want watching this stream. It should hopefully be quite informative. And uh, make sure that loads of people are watching Dan of the Dead. 
Like I say, there is going to be a Dan of the Dead mini series coming very soon. We are in production on it. We are talking about it right now and we can't wait to to see what we can eventually develop um, as a full film. We just hope we can get the amount of people that we need to watch it so that we can keep the series going. And uh, we just let's let's see what happens, eh? But if we keep having amazing people like yourselves that are watching this video right now, then who's to know? We we most probably will get an, many more Dan of the Dead's on its way. Now I know a lot of people have mentioned and talked about one thing that is. Um, probably on everybody's mind is the dildo itself I called it one sec I called myself it because of a character from Minecraft called Flex ah okay fair enough I don't really do Minecraft but cheers well done okay um, most people will have watched the video and gone what the F because of the dildo yeah I know well um, there is a reason for Dan having a dildo in his bag, his satchel bag, in the film. But unfortunately, I can't say why until we make the next film. But it will all be explained. There is a reason why he has the dildo in his satchel bag. And I can't wait to show you... The reason for why in the next film, the next instalment, which is going to come to you hopefully within the next three or four months, we hope. Um, but basically, the the dildo was made again by my good friend Daz Longthorn, who was our sculptor who made the zombie characters, and I actually have it right here. Are you ready for it? Here it is. This is the dildo in question from the Dan of the Dead film. I hope you can all see that. The, like I said, there is a reason behind him having the dildo in his bag. Um, this was made out of silicon, which was moulded first in clay... It was then made, we, we then made a resin cast of it and poured silicon with a wire in it because yes, it droops. And yes, it does. And back again. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But that is how we got the flexibility and the movement within the, within the dildo because there was a piece of wire inside it. Um, Blender head, do you use a DSLR? If so, which lens do you use or would recommend? Uh, I do use a DSLR and I would recommend... I mean, I, I, it, it's hard to... A fixed lens is probably best and you want to try and get as an open wide shot as possible so that you can get a nice um, in tight mode. I said to my friend, he should come to your stream. Thank you. Um, and the, yeah, I mean, you want to try and get down into the actual action. So 50 lens is probably one that you're looking for, something like that. Um, one more thing. You're an inspiration. I make Figma animation on YouTube called Flex Lollipop. Thank you so much for the live. Ah, well, thank you. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. Um yeah, I, I basically, um, DSLR cameras are the way forward if you're going to be shooting animation. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to talk through the Dan of the Dead film and actually give you a little bit of an insight into um the, the film itself and what it was that we did and how we did it and give you a little bit more of um, of an insight into some of the 
some of the challenges that we had whilst we were working on it. Right, here we go. I'm still getting used to using this live stream and I've set up some mad light software program in it. I'm not actually sure whether it's working properly. So anyway, let's let's have a try and see what happens. Ah, here we are, ELK, which stands for Ellis, Longthorn and Kilroy, the three guys that originally started out the project. Uh, Scope Animation is my company, um, and DanOfTheDead.co.uk is due to be relaunched very soon. This was the opening sequence. Now, all of the camera movements had to be shot very specifically, individually, um, from one increment at a time, so I used a very sophisticated program and product called Emotimo which was a pan and tilt head and it was able to give us um, start points end points and then it would do all of the movements itself and would move one frame at a time whilst we were animating which was absolutely fantastic it gave us a lot of scope and it made the made you feel more in the action really um, and here comes Dan straight away showing himself what he's like. He has whiskey in one hand and unfortunately the toilet roll ran out so the best the next best thing was his underpants. Well, what else can you say other than that? Then we had a lovely little reference that we did from Taxi Driver. Um, There's nobody else here. I just thought it was quite funny. Put our little oh, spin on, on the films that are out there at the moment. Um, opening shot of the zombie. Bang. That was... I must have shot that about three times to get it right. Now, the blood splatter was quite cool because we actually did that on green screen outside in the house and managed to superimpose it in, which was quite fun. It took us ages to do it. Uh, condoms... Always a nice cheap gag. Um, Realised they can stop it by condoms for some strange reason. Obviously doesn't work. Then the zombie comes shouting back at him. Little gag there with uh, breath stinks, which obviously a zombie would do. He's dead. Um, the spray was actually done in post-production on my computer. Nothing really to write home about that. Now the zombie was made up of latex, okay. it was made up out Carry of latex on. and uh, it was quite fun to do really, to animate it. It was a little bit more rigid than Dan, but uh, it was, it was still good fun. Um, lots of blood splatters. The blood splatters was actually done by mixing gelatin with blood, uh, fake blood, and uh, what we did was we microwaved it so it warmed up and we were able to um, splatter it around and then it would dry. A little sequence here from uh, Karate Kid um, and the water was quite a fun thing to do we had to use gelatin for that as well and um, the water splashing there was done with cling film loads of little tips and tricks which I'll have to explain more in another video um, then obviously straight back at it with his whiskey nothing stopping him you know what he's like um, bang, zombie's still alive and he thinks he's got his shotgun out he's ready with his shotgun no it's not his shotgun it's his dildo again this will get explained at a later date had to shove it in the zombie's mouth how can you not I mean come on it's a zombie at the end of the day and Dan has a dildo now he's in two minds here what does he do he's got his zombie there but he's got his whiskey that's about to fall over um, quite quite amusing really because he just does, doesn't know what to do realizes he just needs to kill him off as quickly as possible there's that sequence with the splattered head which was made out of gelatin which I told you later on and bang just lands at the right point and uh, off he goes leaving the zombie in its mist um, realizing he's entered a zombie apocalypse <coughs> bang And there you have it, Dan of the Dead. Now, Dan of the Dead, if not people aren't aware, Dan of the Dead was a Kickstarter project. It was 
um, funded. It was one of the first 1500 in the country to be funded in the UK and we were lucky to get all of the money that we asked for and we obviously acknowledge everybody in this video, especially at the end on the titles. Um, happy Easter by the way, yes, Happy Easter. Um, when is the next animation? And can you give a hint? Uh, well, we're, we're in talks at the moment on that. We can't give you an exact time, but we are hoping we are hoping to have another video out in the next within the next three months or so. But there will be smaller videos coming out within the next within the next two weeks or so. So I expect a lot more coming um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, so please, uh, why is the bottle only drank with one sip? Why is the bottle only drank with one sip when thrown away? Uh, he doesn't throw it away. He, um, he, he, he flings out of his hand. He flings it out of his hand by accident and it ends up on the floor. That's the idea behind it. He, he was kind of like, uh, uh, there's nobody else here. I'm out and he lets go of it and it falls on the floor basically that's, that was the idea behind that um, probably didn't come across quite as well but there's plenty more to do in the next videos but that we can hopefully make it better um, hello hello um, thank you for joining us um, I don't know if there's much else more that you want to know about this or any more questions. I will be wrapping it up very soon because um, I want to get cracking on actually making more Dan of the Dead, which is what I hope you all want to see. Um, so, a brief summary. Dan of the Dead is going to come back onto the screens very soon, probably within the next three, three to six months. Don't think that that's a long way away. It, it isn't in stop motion terms. But we we do need to we do need to try and make sure that we do everything completely as we want it to be, which means oh the video's finished. Um, we want to do it exactly as we as we intend it to be, which means we want to work on it correctly and with as much time spent as possible so we're, we're not going to rush it even though six months is quite quick we are going to do some very small snippet kind of videos where we can where we can do um, little snips and funny things hello edu how are you i hope you're very well edu is a fantastic animator based in Barcelona and uh, I hope you're happy and well and thank you for joining us. Uh, first time doing a QA. and I have no idea how it's going um, but hey anyway um, please please understand that Dan of the Dead will be coming back to the screens we are going to do a little mini video little snippets for um, for you all, which will be Dan, Dan's um, zombie apocalypse survival, where he will talk about how he survives a zombie apocalypse and what he does to, to get through it. Um, so please, please, please make sure that you watch that when they come out. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed and any other questions before I go would be absolutely grand. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Flex the Lollipop, you're Edu's biggest fan and mine. <laughs> I have no doubt that you are a fan of Edu's because I am. I mean, Edu is absolutely fantastic and has been on this platform a lot longer than I have. But, I completely understand where you're coming from. He is also one of my biggest fans. Um, I think he's fantastic. Oh, I am one of his biggest fans, should I say. He is absolutely fantastic. And um, who knows? I would love to reach his heights. Um, but we'll see. Sorry. 
Same. Yeah, I know. He is cool. He is cool. Uh, is Dan the same setup as your mini me? Um, yes, he is actually. He's quite quite similar. Um, I use um, animationtoolkit.com to make all of my puppets. And Wes Wood, who is the owner of um, Animation Toolkit, is a good mate of mine. And I've used him for a very long time now. But yes, yes, it is very much like... Um, my mini me so this is my mini me here and what you can't see because obviously all the foam is covered but there is a full ball and socket joint armature underneath if you've ever been onto Wedswood's website and actually seen their armatures the um oh, i can't remember the name of them now uh, but yes they are exactly the same um armatures that you will see um on Wes's website and they are absolutely brilliant to work with you get all the rigging points in etc etc the only thing that's different with the mini me from Dan is that the mini me has silicon hands which Dan never had but he will have in the next video I can promise you um, Edu how long are you planning the movie to be well Edu, as I was saying just before to everyone else, it's not quite a movie. It's going to be a little mini-series that I'm hoping to run on this channel. And I'm going to... It'll be like five-minute episodes. And I will keep doing it for as long as people keep watching and liking the, the content. I have a plan to make Dan of the Dead as a full film. But obviously, without all of the funding and that, I can't do it. So I'm going to do small segments five minute episodes and if I can keep doing these five minute episodes by the time you get to the very end of all of these episodes you'll be able to watch it as a full film that's the idea behind it and that's that's what I intend to do what did you want to be as a kid before stop motion I wanted to be a scientist <laughs> okay before I um, well I've always wanted to do stop motion to be fair it's always been um, a dream of mine and I, I'm lucky enough that I've managed to get to do it um, in my own home. And I did a couple of weeks training for it. But my, my real job or my, my full-time job is um, the stage manager at a theatre, musical theatre. And I'm full-time there. So my animation is purely a hobby that I would love at some day to turn into a full-time job. Um, but at the moment, yes, yeah, so, so that's basically, that is the, the other thing that I do, that is the only other thing that I would ever do other than my animation is musical theatre. Um, I, I build the sets and work behind the scenes on all of the big shows that you will have ever seen around the world, um, which is quite a fun thing to do. Uh, sorry a bit late, yeah, it's a, a all the, um, Edu, I'll let you off. <laughs> <laughs> You're busy. <laughs> Anything else before I wrap up? I, um, did you make the molds for the mini me hands or? were they bought no no they were made and i actually have them right here just give me one second Okay, here are the moulds that were used for my mini-me, right here. I hope you can see that. Now these are made out of a different type of, re well it's not resin at all, it's called Formite, which is actually a stronger material than um, resin and it will last for, well it will last longer than we're alive basically. This stuff is absolutely incredible. So. 
here you can see the hand molds themselves and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of them away because this is the actual hand armature and you can see Wes's work quite clearly here his armatures that he's got which is quite cool um, so what happens is this locates into the mold itself like so we would have uh, painted in some of the silicon and then we plop the armature in and then we add the other half on top plop like that bang it into the oven for a bit and then when we pop it out bang we have a hand just like the one that you can see in my mini me I only wanted to be it because of the kid experience like motors and coke. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. I am going to wrap up but what I what I think I might do, and this should be quite fun, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, when we get to a million views on the Dan of the Dead video, which is not that far off, we're about 300 off getting a million views. But when we get to a million views, I think I'm going to do a giveaway. And I'm probably going to do... A shirt giveaway with Dan of the Dead on it so if you want to be in it to win it this is what you have to do I want you to go to www.myanimatedlife.co.uk and subscribe to the website once you are subscribed to the website when we reach a million views I will pick from everybody that has joined and become subscribers to the website myanimatedlife.co.uk I will pick somebody at random from that and they will win a sign, not a sign, they'll win a shirt with Dan of the Dead on it. How does that sound? I'll leave it in the description below and hopefully very soon we will reach that million mark on that video and when we do reach that vi that million, I will look over everybody that has subscribed to the website and send out a request for where you live and I shall get that shirt over to you as soon as possible. I hope that all sounds quite good. Sorry for bombarding you with questions and comments like this one. Hey, this is what it's all about. You can ask as many questions as you want. And once this video is finished, keep asking questions on the video um, and I'll, I'll keep answering even if it's not live now. Um, just continue to ask questions. This is for you. This was a questions and answers thing so that you could find out a bit more about Dan of the Dead. I had no idea how, how this would work, whether it has worked. I'm still a bit unsure to be honest, but it was something that I wanted to try as a test and hopefully... In the future, if I did do some more, um, you'll like them as well. It, wouldn't it be fantastic if I could have a live stream up whilst I'm animating? I mean, that would be fantastic. If I was to do that, I would have to have somebody else with me who could obviously ask all of the questions whilst I'm still animating. But that's a possibility of something I could do in the future. So, I don't think there's anything else left to say. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this live Q&A session. Um, I think we've had some great people here. Edu, it's been fantastic to have you on board. Flex, Lollipop, thank you for asking some questions. Blend ahead, you've been great. You've answered, you've asked some lovely questions as well. And um, hello to Unknown Game, who was here for a second and didn't ask her anything, but that's fine. Um, I'm just happy that you came along and have been a part of this live stream. And hopefully... I can do something more in the future. Dan of the Dead will continue and we are going to make more and there's going to be a little snippets very soon. 
And I'm also going to document the whole films as they happen in the future as well. And um, I, I, I will see you very, very soon. So my name is Pete Ellis. This is my animated life. This was my first ever Q&A for the Dan of the Dead series. It's going to come very, very soon. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks of it. And um, thank you. Thank you to everyone that subscribed and watched the film. Please keep sharing it. And let's make sure we get to that million pound, that million views. And who knows, you might win a shirt. Thank you.